but yeah, bro, we were going a lot to Orlando and, and just being like, just having that connection with like, you know, Florida scene. And at that time, like my one was like, Whoa, you know, and, and we're like, yo, there are friends. And so those little moments for us, it was huge. So, you know, we're in the, the, this like Olympic era, which means that and we're also in the like the the Red Bull team era, the Monster team era. Um, so now you're gonna have kids that are looking at breaking as like a career path, maybe, right? And yeah. so you and your crew and a whole you know a whole slew of generations of b boys dedicated themselves to this craft. And once it became possible to like you know get flown out to different places and so on and so forth. They started to look at it as a career as well. But you and I both know that in breaking, it's not really a sustainable career path, right? What I want to know is, um, what is the thought process when you say, you know what? I'm going to dedicate my life to this breaking, even though I know that it has a very limited return on investment. You see what I'm saying? Because one of my one of my good friends, and just to put it in context, we were talking, and he him and I have a, had a very different approach to breaking, right? My approach was this, because I started breaking later. I was already like in like 19, because it's like 99, I think, when I started breaking, right? 98, no, yeah, like 99. Yeah. And I was already in the military. So I didn't have that, that, um, that era when breaking could be my primary thing, yeah. where all I had to do was come home, throw my backpack on the ground, and start breaking. You know what I'm saying? So I never had that. So my thing was always... I want to be dope to me. I want to be dope to my peers, and I want to be able to walk into any room where some where some real b boys are and walk out with respect. Him, on the other hand, he was like, "No, I want to win all the big jams. I want to go all the way around the world. I want to do all these things." And we both accomplished our goal, right? But my thing is, for somebody like him and like you, who are like, "No, I'm gonna be the best. I'm a, I'm gonna put everything into this." What is what is that thought process? Because I, I don't really I don't really know. Yeah, I know, bro. It's, I mean, it's a tricky answer because I like you say, I think for everybody is different, you know? And and you have to respect that, like, like I, I don't know, man. Like me, yeah, like like I, it's first it, it I don't know where to start. It's crazy because when I let's say when I first like knew that okay, I'm I'm gonna just break. It was because there was this competition coming. So this kind of kept me like motivated, like, okay, I'm gonna train for this competition, you know? But like, cause I was breaking and stuff, but then when I met that competition side, it, it, it got me something like, yo, I wanna go like rep or win and, and stuff like this. Cause I was watching a lot of like, at one point, like there was the DVD era, you know? And, and at one point I was like, yo, I wanna be in those DVDs. That was like the goal. So that was like, you know, and then at one point I made it, I was like, okay, so, and then what's next? And, you know, it was something like this, but then of course there's life. And in Montreal, like, it's not that easy to, to just live out of your dancing, but um, I mean, like in everything, like you just have to work hard, hard, hard. And, and, and it's cliche to say, but it's just like, it's, you have to prioritize things, you know, and like, okay, like, you know, like either you go chill outside or do this or you go do this because next day you have that. So, but yeah, bro, because I was reaching my goals, but I guess I was like loving that at the same time. It was not like, oh, why am I doing this, you know, but and just just I, I don't know. At one point I started teaching and that was a good income and I was young. I was like, oh, I can teach like like oh damn okay then bro i went off there i'm like monday to saturday i was teaching in different <laughs> school you know and and i was like i'm making money so it's cool i can live up live out of dancing and stuff but um but then it was like oh i want to travel and then oh there's the end of the year show oh and i'm in many different school i have to say oh i cannot be there because i have to be in this studio and then the next week i'm traveling i'm like Whoa, 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 this is like, you know, it was becoming crazy asshole. And I don't know, I always like, then I start meeting like some people like, like, I don't know, I met my boy Gadget from Boogie Brats. Like he's one of like, like, I don't know, even though I've been breaking for many years before I met him, I always say he's kind of a mentor 
because like it, it teach me some like first it teach me how to be free with my dance you know with everything i know just how to be free but at the same time that life side you know because gadget like he's a father he has a family he's a crazy artist with the painting like and he's an amazing breaker too and he was always like yo i, I just want to enjoy breaking and not make it like my job you know right so like and he was I, it was inspiring to hear that then sometimes i was hearing like yo i'm a b-boy like every day nine to five b-boys then i was oh this is motivating too but then i'm like it had to be realistic and stuff so with gadget inspired me to always have my little side job and because i got tired of teaching at one point it was like draining me and i was having a lot of dope kids but then i was losing like a little bit of like myself in there you know mm -hmm. so at one point i stopped and uh, I, I even went back to like the adult school to try to get some credits and maybe do some, you know, it was like always like this, like a little bit of on and off, like normal life, go back to the breaking. But like every Wednesday and Sunday, I was going to my practices, you know, maintaining if anything, I was still following and then the internet came and stuff. But yeah, bro, like I had my side jobs like and breaking. And then actually when I started having the side job, like I did like, I don't know, I, I work at some, um, there was this place, Lean and Chess. I was at the back store, it's like some, uh, 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 how do you say, furniture for the houses. You know, we were there, like the normal job, like, you know, had my paycheck every two Thursday. It was good coming, but that was kind of cool because being there, nobody knew I was a b-boy or nothing, you know. Like, through the end, through the end, but I was keeping it super low-key. But then when I was going to my practice or to a jam, I was enjoying even more, you know, because oh, that's more my thing. Like, you know, and it, it, for me, it was good. It was well balanced. And 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 two, when I was teaching, I was definitely not telling the kids, just be a B-boy. Don't go to school. You know, like it was like, guys, do your homework. If you want to come back to class, do your homework. Be nice in school. Nah, nah, nah. You know, so. I couldn't contradict myself. I had to be honest with what I was sharing to the kids. And I was on that tip on because I, I saw it and I felt I was changing lives of those kids because the parents were coming to me like, hey, Vic, since my kid come to your class, he behaves better at home. But that's what breaking does. You know, it brings you discipline and stuff. So, yeah, bro, like that, that B-boy life, like it's it's not easy it's not for everyone at the same time but it's possible like depending of what you want to do with it you know and and there's no right or wrong like like now like you were saying there's people man they brought it so much just to that like they did just that that they got those sponsors now but they just do that like you know and 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 respect to that man because the, there's other people and even big names that they're still on that like in and out trying to manage oh my, now i open a studio okay but when you do those stuff it you cannot always be like active co in the competition so man i wish we had that sponsor back then like like now you have let's say monster and red bull but it would be nice if other brands sponsor like you know those dancers like i was making a joke i'm like yo where's the mcdonald's sponsor i'm ready like i'll rock that mcdonald jersey you know like, <laughs> <laughs> but imagine like and all that stuff so we were, but that was jokes between my boys so so yeah bro but you know what like to be honest and, and open right now without being sponsored i'm living that break life right now and and i'm a father i have my place i live in finland my son doesn't miss nothing we're there like we manage my wife which is big girl 18 she's a big girl like 100 oh, active yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. I've heard, I'm pretty sure I've heard of her before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably like B girl AT. Like she's one of the most known B girl. Like you'll check, right. check it out. Like, what was her crew called? Was it was that Flomo? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. So think about that, bro. Me and her were like break life right now. We go to practice, like she can go in the morning, or sometimes it's me, or if I go to the gym, and then okay, we have to pick up the kid at this time. Like the past uh the past two years our son is two years right now we've been doing that and we're there you know we're doing it and it's possible you know and we're not sponsored but you know like we wish we were sponsored so it would be just more easy but we're, we're dedicated to our craft 
we're dedicated to what we do and we're dedicated to our lifestyle outside dancing, you know, so it's possible. It's definitely possible. It's not an easy road, but you just have to like, you know, like it's like that. Uh, that's the hustle life somehow. But, the, you know, like it's, you, you become like a company. So you just have to like grind your own way. Like right now here, like it's cool because for myself, I'm like doing some shows you know like outside the competitions I sometimes I do shows for this company and I'm actually working at the YMCA as well in in Finland so and, it comes uh, full circle right you're talking about yeah, the YMCA yeah, yeah. in Montreal now you're at the YMCA <laughs> Bro, and it's crazy because I'm working there as like um how do you say like a like a facilitator you know okay but okay. so I, I it depends on the moods of the kids but uh, I can teach breaking that, and someday we're just like gonna play soccer. We're gonna play basketball. Uh, we're gonna there's the little girls. We're gonna do some drawing stuff. So and I think it's cool, bro. For me, like you know, I'm enjoying this, and and actually I teach as well too. That's cool. That that's new. It's new. Like what I'm saying right now about the one C A and, and teaching. That's since only September. But it's I'm happy because I'm like establishing more myself here in Finland. You know, and and yeah, bro, just you know trying to to find all the ways possible so i can still go and i got my gigs too like i have my breaking gigs like when when, when you just keep working on your goals like don't expect nothing but things come like everything comes in place man like right if you keep your mind on it it's, it's gonna yeah. it's gonna it's gonna happen if you keep your mind on it and working towards it it's gonna happen in time whether that's real soon whether it takes a while or whether it takes a long time when your mind is focused on it constantly, eventually it's gonna pop. It does, bro. So, so that that's the the little approach about the the b boy life, the choice to say if like, am I doing this fully or like, you know? And but that's me. And then other people is different, and and that's okay too, you know. Like now, something interesting. So you're a Latino, French Canadian living in finland help us understand this how do we get to this <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so quick like that so my family's from peru my both parents immigrate to canada like now more than 50 years i would say and and, and yeah like uh, then i was born born and raised in montreal in brossard you know and then through 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 my career uh, i met my my wife my girl like my my partner, my teammate, you know, like we have to be a team with the kid. Like she, yeah, she's my other half, you know, I don't know, like uh, life, bro, life, life just cross our, our, our path. I don't know, like, you know, and, and it was crazy when we met because I was on a different like tip and then just, I don't know, we connected and, and we made choices and now I'm here and we have a beautiful kid and yeah, I'm here to stay. Like I'm establishing here. I have my residence. I'm, you know, like slowly, like making friends. I'm throwing my first jam, which I'm happy about this. Like, yeah, in January, yeah, in January, I'm throwing my first jam out here. It's like a after three years being here, even if it's short term, I don't know. It's like a for me, it's a way to give back. You know, like to share, like right. yo, I'm here, and I want to show my approach to the dance. Like, like the way the way you, I, I put a jam is like. It's like the way I kind of see the dance a little bit. Uh, I mean, I got inspired by by my crew, like by like us doing the skills on meter. So I want to bring that touch, like how how the vibe was in Montreal. I'm trying to bring this touch here to Finland. So yeah, bro. Like uh, I'm here now, and but um, yeah, bro. Skills on meter started like uh, over the phone with Fleo, you know, like uh, by going to Florida. We were like seeing outbreaks. So we kind of got inspired by that. We're like, yo, we should bring some kind of jam like this, but in Montreal. For more quality content from Beyond the Cypher with Ill Skills, don't forget to press the like and subscribe buttons. Also, feel free to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Beyond the Cypher. Let us know how we're doing in the comment section. And to make sure you don't miss anything from the channel, smash that notification bell we appreciate the love and support peace until the next episode